can okay. the price down. All right. Yeah, 924 this evening is April 7th uh, here on Friday evening. Uh, sh shots c uh, fired call was uh, called in to the uh, OU and to the Norman Police Department. We both responded along with multiple agencies from the area to include OHP, uh, Cleveland County, Moore PD. Um, no threats were found. We did a thorough search of the library and of the adjacent area and found no threats, no evidence that any shooting had occurred. So at this time, the, the campus is safe. There, uh, and everyone who is uh, possibly hiding or have sheltered in place can come out at this time. Uh, we pre appreciate the response from all the other agencies, the quick response, and uh, things went basically as well as we think they could have. We are going to continue to look at our response and see if there's anything, places we need to shore up, anything we need to add to our response and if, see if we can continue to do things better. But at this point in time, uh, we are very impressed and very proud of the way that we responded and we're very glad that there are no casualties or no injuries to anyone. Do you know if there was a fake call or something that scared people to make this call? We were looking into that at this point in time. It appears that it was, but uh, there are some other factors we need to look at, at to fully determine that. Uh, obviously, there are other places here on campus, and we haven't gotten any reports of anything else. So at this point, we're, we'll probably say that it was a bogus call. So to confirm, there were no shots fired this evening? There's no, no evidence of any shots being fired here on our campus tonight. Did you hear any rumors about a party popper that may have caused some of this chaos? There are some confetti that's out in front of the uh, campus, in front of the library, and we will look in at our video and see possibly when that may have occurred, if we, are, we have a camera angle for that. So that's a possibility, but we can't confirm if that was the cause or if that was the issue. This brought out a large police presence. Tell me about your training that you go, that you all do as o, OU police uh, to, to prepare for an active shooter situation. All of our officers have been trained in active shooter response. Um, we hope to do more training in that, to do more continuous training. I think most of the agencies at this point are hampered by uh, low staffing, which makes it a little bit difficult for us to do that. But um, we feel confident that we can respond and will respond when needed, as you saw tonight. This, uh, this was a great response of multiple agencies, so it's more than just the OU Police Department, it's uh, all the other agencies that, are, uh, that get the alert and are able to respond. Can you maybe go into that it being all clear as a police department, you guys going in, you're ready for this. After that, what, what's your thoughts when you finally get that all clear sent out to everybody? Well, of course, we feel better knowing that no one's been injured, but we also know that sometimes we have to look at this a little bit further to find out you know, how that happened. Um, then again, to assess our response and to see how we can do better. If you had to give your best guesstimate of how many first responders were here tonight, what would you guess or estimate? Oh, there were hundreds. Lips over yeah. 200. Yeah, there was, there was at least over 100 here tonight. I want to ask about swatting. How does this affect police? I mean, you all were all out here when there could be other crime happening out in the other parts of the community. That's true. It's a waste of resources and obviously brings everyone in the central location. So it, it makes all those other agencies, those other locations, and even our campus very vulnerable in other spots because all the law enforcement is concentrated in one area. So we, and that's not a favorable situation, but uh, we don't know of any other way of handling it this time. Your message to students tonight? Well, our message is to be um, comforted in the fact that if something were to happen, that we will respond and can respond in a rapid manner, and uh, that they need to be vigilant. If you see something, <laughs> say something now, you know, immediately, and uh, just uh, trust us to uh, respond as we need to. How do you consider tonight when thinking about the current climate in the country with the Nashville school shooting just a few weeks ago? Everyone's on pins and needles, obviously, and they should be. Uh, you know, we never know what's going to happen from day to day. But, you know, I, I would continue to have some confidence in your law enforcement officials and your first responders and all the people that make that work as we're doing the best we can. Thank you, Chief. I, I just yeah. want you to one more time just say oh, it. One more. Just, as our viewers are all watching, we're all live on all these stations. It's all clear. There is no threat. It is all clear. There is no current threat at this time. We found nothing to indicate that an active shooter actually took place at this point in time.